for all section based commands like extrude, revolve, or swept, path selection lets you define a continuous path with a minimal number of selections. Path selection is especially valuable when you want to define a path through a complex curve network like this one. This example shows how to extrude different paths through this sketch. Click Extrude. And ensure that connected curves and stop at intersection are selected. On the selection bar, click Path Selection. Select a start curve for your path. To preview a possible path, move the cursor over a curve. NX previews a path to the curve end that is nearest to the cursor. Move the cursor over the opposite end of the curve. NX infers a new path, in the opposite direction, to the curve end that is now closest to the cursor. Select the original path. You can close this profile with just one more selection. Using connected curves and stop at intersection alone, it would take 16 selections to complete this profile. With path selection, it takes only three. Path selection also lets you modify a profile as you work, so that you can experiment with your design, or fix incorrect selections. Let's use path selection to construct a new profile. Any curve that you explicitly select is called a through curve. NX displays a handle on each through curve. Suppose you want to add a notch on the left side of the part. You need to replace this through curve. Right click the handle and choose replace through curve. Preview and select a replacement curve to create the notch. And close the profile. You can also modify curves that NX infers. For example, suppose you want to add a notch on the right side of the part. Right click the curve and choose reroute path. Select a replacement curve. Now let's suppose you do not want the notch at the bottom of the part. To remove a through curve, right click the curve handle. And choose remove through curve. NX removes the through curve, and curves inferred with it, and closes the profile.